Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoytick, the art teacher. Today we are going to work on adding details to our picture that is inspired by Jacob Lawrence's painting. It's called Fulton and Nostron. And it was a corner, a very busy corner in Brooklyn where Jacob Lawrence lived. And so I have my example in the corner here. I think I'd like to add this guy who's walking. He's got a package. And I'm going to add him right about here. So I'm going to move my example over a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it down here. And let's see. It's going to go right about here. So I have it eyed up where I want to put him. And now I'll start. And I will start with the man's head, which looks kind of strange very angular shape like right in here his neck and of course we have to put a hat on his head because the era that this was painted in all the men wore hats when they went outside it was a different time now his sport coat I see a triangle at the top goes diagonal down and there's his arm and let's see here cut off the sleeve here is the package so here's the handle and there's the bag and then finally I want his leg coming out here foot and there's a part of the leg is like a yellowish tannish and the other part is brown and then I don't see his other leg because there's a guy here I might as well add him too on the other side of the car so I see I'm gonna sketch in where the man's head will be and he's he's right here and his hat looks cool. There's some shapes on it. Like that. There's his face. And his shoulders. And that's where the other man will be. Now moving along. I want to add. Let's see, I'll put that there. I want to add some more details up at the top here like I see there's like a lunch counter so I'm going to make the counter and I'm going to make some people shapes and this could be a storefront as well I'm not sure I know I mentioned last week when we were working on this that when I went to the Cleveland Museum of Art most recently of course social distanced wearing a mask and I saw the Jacob Lawrence picture there is so much detail for instance this is another individual another person and there's room for him right in the middle I'm gonna put him in now and so he's up the picture a little bit further because he's standing between our first man we drew and our walker now I'm leaving out a couple of people here so I'm changing the composition of where people are. I'm leaving some people out. So I'm going to draw the man's head. And shoulders. And what I see is what really makes his body is it looks like he's wearing overalls. He might have just come from his job like he is not wearing a hat. And you know that's what most other people are. Now, I have some extra lines. I'm going to take them out. And let's see here. And his foot just kind of ends down here. So I'll differentiate. That means make a difference between the individuals. There's the man walking. Here's a man in overall standing. There's a side of his face. 
And let's add some details up in this area too. One thing I see is this sign up here. And so I'm going to go ahead and add that up in there. Erase your extra lines. Let's see, even over in this corner, I see what looks like uh, looks like a storefront, and I see human forms. So I'm just going to make heads and outlines for the bodies, and just little angular shapes. There we go. All right, more details. I have a man there, I have that there. So this left side, with the addition of some more details on that sign, I think that says Lou's Pawn Shop. So I might as well label that as well. I'm going to sketch that in. Lou's Pawn Shop. That's a nice detail. So I can move my example over, and let's see, I have the woman and the child holding flowers. I see there's a group of people back here, and so what I'd like to do is delineate this a little bit more crisply, and oh, I see someone standing on, it looks like a maybe a police officer or someone with a blue hat, I'm not sure. So here's the hat. And here's the face. And the face looks very angular, lots of angles. And there's the head. Here's the body. And I see a lighter section of blue in the front of the shirt. And I see And there's the pants. That's enough. There's the dog. There's the woman. So let's put some people right here. And what I see is the outline of a man with a hat. And there's like a coat. A sport coat. I think this is a woman with a longer dress, and legs that come out, and I'm not sure, looks like another person standing next to them, and let's make some more of this man here, some legs, and an arm, and let's see what else, the tuxedo up here next to the tuxedo store. And uh, let's see, I'm going to pull my example back, take a look. And I can populate this with more people if I would like. I have the room. Or if I would like to, I called it delineate earlier in the video, and that means find the lines of where the people are. Add details. Now there's not extreme details, they're very, like I said before, angular. That means angles. And it's kind of rough. And the angles help convey that it was a busy street city with people rushing to and fro. Let's see, I'm going to add some details on this man. Outline of an eye. That's the back of someone's head. Uh, we can add some details to this guy down here. It's the outline. There's the car. All right, and I think that's good for today.
I'm going to clean up some more of my details and I'll have this ready to add color to next week. So I want you to add details to your picture and you can move things around like I did. I moved some of the buildings, I moved some of the people, and it's all up to you where you want to put them. All right, try your best. I can't wait to see your example.